say hi? Look, look, baby. Hello. I wanted to start by saying, oh no, he's biting me. <laughs> you can go if you want. You don't have to bite me. Hello guys, uh, welcome to a new studio vlog. Okay, I wanted to start by saying I hope everyone's had a good Christmas and holiday period. And I also wanted to say a really big thank you for all the support on my first video. I am so thankful that you left nice comments and likes and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, it's really encouraging. Thank you so much. So a bit of context, um, it's now the end of January, so I haven't really filmed anything in the month of January. And to be honest, the whole coronavirus situation here in the UK has been a little bit challenging to handle. Um, but here we are. So this past month, I've been working on a productivity routine. Um, I've been trying to get my mental health in a good place so that I can be as productive as I want to and I started really slowly but I, th I feel like now I'm starting to see results um, which is really good and I can share a bit more on it with you in a future video if that's of interest. I've also been building a new website which is something I wanted to do for a long time um, so previously I was using Adobe My Portfolio, which is included in the Adobe Cloud, Creative Cloud subscription. Uh, and that is really great, but you can't really customize a lot of it. And I really wanted to build a website that looks a bit more professional. And yeah, it's just where I get to have more control over how it looks. <laughs> so I started working on this in early January and then kind of just thought, okay, maybe I should look into building my own shop on my website too. And because Etsy fees are so high, I thought this was a good step to take. And it is a bit costly to keep the website running with a shop function, but um, hopefully it pays off. So rather than talking a lot about this, I'll just show you where what I've done so far and where I am. Yeah, this is the home page where I'm gonna have my portfolio. And this is just a kind of, this is just a starting point. It's not live yet. And then we have a small section with information about me. And then we have an FNQ section. And here I intend to share more resources on art and tips and tricks and things like that. And obviously I'll have a little FNQ for my shop. And finally the shop, which is honestly, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, so here it is. I think it looks pretty neat. Obviously, there are still some issues to resolve, but as I said, it hasn't been launched yet. So let me open a listing just to show you. So we have this here, which is an original drawing. I don't know, I think it looks pretty neat. I'm quite pleased with it. My website is hosted on Squarespace and by the way this is not sponsored in any way <laughs> but just to let you know it's been fairly easy to build it. I would recommend so far. Please let me know if you have more questions. Again not sponsored in any way. So yeah that's where I'm at so far. There's still a bit a bit of work to do before I can launch it and to celebrate my website launching I'm designing some coloring pages that people can download for free um, because I think because well firstly I've never made coloring pages and that sounds quite fun and um, secondly I wanted to have something that people could um, just download for free just to get them to check out my website and yeah I thought this would be a good idea particularly now that everyone's sort of in isolation or not going out that much and I'll get my sister to be my guinea pig um, because she's in year three and she's at home with not that much to do and I'm sure she and her friends will enjoy some coloring pages. But anyway, let me show you um, what I've designed so far and what I still have to do. Um, yeah, so this is my first design. I think I'm almost done with it. And I think this one will be the most complex out of my three designs. And I just wanted them to have like different levels of complexity so different people can enjoy them. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with this one. 
I think I think this little guy's pretty cute. Then we have his little cats, and obviously I took inspiration from my cat to make this little guy because this little one just clearly wants to make friends and the cat is just there like, mm, no thank you. I haven't actually started sketching for the other two, so I'm gonna do that now and gonna show you the process. <laughs> Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. you're wondering. Today is Wednesday. I spoke to you last on Monday so it's been a full day where I haven't actually catched up with you. It's been a bit up and down and yesterday I just felt a bit down so yeah. So I spent today sketchbooking and doing some gouache painting as you would have seen. Just finished that painting and scanned it and now I'm just going to edit it a bit. Um, on my computer and possibly post it on Instagram today. Um, yeah, and I've made some progress with my coloring pages as well. Um, now I just need to draw a border and kind of test print them and color them in to take some photos. By the way, I forgot to say that this vlog will be a weekly vlog and I'll try and do one every week, but we'll see. Are you hungry? Poop.
See you go. Enjoy. It is Friday, Friday. Hello, friends. Say hello to my friends. <laughs> hello, guys. Welcome to Friday. Today it was really sunny for the first time in a while, so I felt pretty happy and positive. So the last time I spoke to you, I think I would have finished my frog gouache painting and I think I told you I was about to finish my coloring pages and now I've actually finished them and my sister's already printed them and she's coloring them in at the moment. Um, but I haven't actually tried to print them yet because to be honest my printer is terrible. Um, I got it for £20. So I guess we're going to try and see if it prints. Otherwise, yeah, I'm really excited because I reached 3,000 followers on Instagram, which for me is a lot. I know some people watching might be like, um, okay, girl, but um, for me, that sounds like a lot of people and it's just really exciting that that many people would actually like care about the work I do. So thank you so much if you follow me. Or actually, if you are just watching this video, thank you so much. So I asked people on Instagram if they would like me to do a draw this in your style with prizes to celebrate. So I'm going to be working on that too. I've also been looking at um, some products I might bring to my shop and I've got a few ideas. So I don't know if you'll see me design those in this video or in next week's video, but stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, let's see if my printer works. And if it does, then I guess me and Nick will be covering in this evening. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, I'll try and find a neighbor who's kind enough to let me use their printer. <laughs> Okay, Nick just finished coloring his I one haven't in. Finished it. Oh, you haven't finished. Okay, but he wants he wanted to show the camera, so here we go. Okay, do you want me to zoom in? Not on the face because I mucked up the shading on the face. Do you want to be on it as well? No, Do you want to just say hi? Hi. <laughs> See, I get really shy when you're here. Just imagine I'm not here. No, you have to participate to make me less shy. Okay. We just went to a Swedish bakery. That's nice. Hmm? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway. Ah, this is a problem because... Okay, <laughs> he's saying I can go. Okay. Oh, I don't so, want to kill this man, though. We got this. Any, anyway, we went to a Swedish bakery called Baggi, Baggeret. Can you say it in Swedish? Probably not. In the Swedish accent? Uh, I don't think so. Think so. To be honest, I think the main reason we went... I, I don't know if I told you, Nick, but basically I've been really obsessed with princess cake for a while. I feel that you've mentioned, I didn't, I, yeah, I don't um, think I'd realise how, how bad this craving was. But. Yeah, it's because I see it like on Instagram all the time, like all the Swedish bloggers get like princess cake for their birthday, princess cake for their half birthday, um, so I just really wanted to try it. What and did you get for your half birthday? I got a voucher for Chipotle. <laughs> 
<laughs> for some free guac. Yeah, so princess cake. Uh, princess cake I would describe as Victoria sponge on steroids. I don't know. I've got no idea. I've it's... never had princess cake. I've never had it before either, but it's. I think it's like a sponge cake with some jam and custard and also cream and then covered in marzipan. Because we drove there, we thought we should also get some extra things just to make it worth our while, you know? So we got two canarbula. What's plural for canarbula? Anyway, we got two cinnamon buns. We got two semlo. And I've never tried semlo, so that's also gonna be, um, yeah, we'll see. We're also, we're not obsessed with Sweden, like for normal people. Are normal people not obsessed with Sweden? Okay. Okay, Nick, let us introduce our um, pastries. Princess cake semlo. Okay, so this is a semlo. Princess cake. Can, can you tell me a little bit more about it? No, no, I can't remember. And this is a princess cake. But look at that beauty. Princess torta. Semlo. Wait, let me take a picture. Wait, let's turn off the lights. This is the full on mood. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really glad I mm. like almond these days. Mmm. That, I'm actually crying a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually like a little bit teary that I like it. Because it's so beautiful. Welcome to Monday. So today it's been snowing, so for most of the morning I was out enjoying the snow because as someone who grew up in Portugal, getting to see snow is just like an absolute treat. It was the second snow of the season and probably the last, so I'm gonna make the most of it. So today I finally got all of the coloured in colouring pages from Nick and from my sister. Um, my brother said he was going to colour them in too, but to be honest, I'm not gonna stick around waiting for him. Look at this one, guys. Can you see this? It looks beautiful. I'm just so proud. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I've been enjoying the snow and um, today I've been working on the listing for the colouring pages. I've been testing out the user experience of the website, so like um, what the email you receive after you place an order looks like and customizing those, making sure everything is legible and people understand everything that's on the email clearly. And to be honest, this is harder than you might think because different people... Oh my gosh, it's him again. Literally every time I start filming. I also edited all of the photos for the listing and yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it live soon, probably later today. So when you're seeing this, it's already live. So please go check out my website and download my coloring pages. That would be great. Um, I will leave a link somewhere. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna start filming a new video straight away. Where I'm gonna design new products which is really exciting um, and yeah and work on a draw this in your style. I hope this video was entertaining and that you enjoyed it a little bit. Please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for improvements or if you enjoyed this video please let me know. If you have any questions for me or any video ideas let me know as well. Uh, I think yeah, I'm gonna start filming another studio vlog and I would love to do a studio tour but I have to like revamp it because it's looking a bit bare at the minute but um, yeah, we'll get there eventually. Anyway guys, I hope you're all staying safe um, and I'll see you on the next one.